What is up YouTube? It has been a minute since I posted anything lately and uh, well, as you can see, it's uh, not exactly ideal fishing weather. So I do apologize for that, but like I said, it just has not been uh, ideal conditions to be out. But I had a few hours available today, so I decided what the heck, I'll stop by the river and see if I can catch anything. Uh, the original plan is I was going to actually do a, uh, a live versus artificial bait challenge to see which I could catch more fish on, but given these weather conditions, I think the challenge is going to be to see if we could catch anything, to be honest with you. Um, so I guess the goal is to uh, try to shake off a skunk and see if we can catch anything. So um, I do have worms with me. I've got a couple rods um, already rigged up with bottom rigs. So I'm going to be hitting up a few tried and true spots that I know for a fact are going to be holding some fish. So I'm going to walk over there right now, get baited up, and uh, hopefully we can get into something. All right, so just pulled up to the spot here. Supposedly the snow is supposed to lighten up this afternoon so uh, I'm hoping um, you know the conditions improve a little bit and uh, I don't know maybe we can get into a couple of fish we'll see there we go what do we got is that a bullhead Oh, weird. It's a bullhead. Huh. I don't usually get these guys in the winter. How do you like that? A wintertime bullhead. Wow, that's a rarity. I don't get that. That doesn't happen too often. Oh, and he clamped down on my thumb pretty hard. Thanks, bud. Huh. All right, well, we got the skunk off the board. And I wasn't expecting a catfish species either, so well, that's pretty cool. Well, let's get this guy back in. Look at that, he's just barely hooked. All right, see ya, bud. So uh, yeah, a little bit of advice, uh, don't lip lock bullheads when they've got uh, a lot of energy in them still. He really clamped down on my thumb. Here we go, fish number two. My fishing bells fell in the water, I'll have to go in and get them. I think that's a sucker. I got a glimpse of them. Yeah, he's staying down there. Yeah, it's a sucker. I get a lot of these guys in the winter time. There we go. In the net. Well, that's a good size one too. All right, I wanted to get a measure on this guy. It's a pretty decent sized one, but uh, I can't seem to find my tape measure, but uh, yeah, nice catch. I'd say he's, I don't know, maybe 16, 17 inches, somewhere around there. Hmm. Species number two. Let's get this guy back in and uh, see what else we can get into. All right, later, bud. Wow, that is really, really cold water. Here we go. Oh, darn it. Darn, darn. 
I'm not sure what that was. I think it was another sucker. I couldn't quite tell. I don't think it was a carp. It looked like it was silver. It's got to have to have been a sucker. Seems I am uh, in an area holding quite a few fish. Thought I had something on there. The, the bites were so gentle I couldn't tell. I think it's another sucker. Yeah, oh darn it. <sighs> All right, so ever since that last fish popped off on me, I have not had a single bite and the sun is beginning to set so i think i'm gonna head out of here now i'm pretty cold as well um overall it was not very fast action but given that i came here when it was snowing and cold and wet i wasn't even sure i'd catch anything so uh, i'm happy that we got into a few fish and uh even though a, a couple of them popped off on us um you know i'm happy that we got some action so uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to this channel. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully when it's a little bit warmer out. Thanks.